All right, let's do this thing, man. What is up, y'all? We are out here today in the state of Utah. This is the first ever time I'm ever in Utah. This is the first ever time we're gonna be doing this kind of fishing. So uh, Fly First State is coming out yet again. Hopefully we don't embarrass ourselves. So if you guys watched a couple of videos ago, we had a pretty good fly fishing lesson with my buddy Ty in New Mexico, Northern New Mexico. Today, as I said, we're here in Utah. Let me show you this, man. Look over this very, very far drop. That is some of the clearest water I have ever seen in my entire freaking life. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it looks like, um, yeah, we're in an area. I've never obviously been here before. Ooh, got some like pointy spiky cacti on the ground. Yeah, we're gonna be exploring some new spots and I think there's a giant freaking dam up here. It'll be pretty cool to see. And also, yeah man, we're gonna be doing some fly fishing. It's gonna be a long walk down. So, I uh, went to the fly shop here. There's like a fly shop, gas station, food mart, like all in one. And I talked to this really, really nice guy. I don't remember his name, but shout out to him. He told me a lot. Look at this, man. It's like some Lion King stuff right here. Sun is starting to set, kind of ish, but this should be actually pretty good for the kind of fishing we're going to try to be doing. Yeah, look at these freaking views, man. Like, I tell you, in Delaware, there's like one hill. Oh. Whew. All right. So, you hear that, man? Just like nice calming babbling right behind me over here this is a giant freaking dam i don't know if you could really tell the size just from under here that's, that's like a freaking hoover dam dude we got a nice big old pipe right there but basically this spot let me let me actually show you man i don't know if you could see from here this is like a freaking bathtub like this is my foot in it this stuff is freaking clear dude so we are going to be doing some interesting type of fly fishing if you guys have been around the channel for a while you guys know I am very, very, extremely, very new to fly fishing. I am not extremely good at it. I just remembered my waders have a leak in them. That's always nice. But yeah, man, so here's what happened. We went over to the fly shop and I was asking the guy, I was just like, yo, where's the tippet at? And then he's like, you need to try this. And he, he went over to the thingy. <laughs> like, I don't know what it's called, like where all the fly stuff is. And he picked out this right here. I'll show you a closer look at it, but this is actually a uh, fly of a cicada. When you're fly fishing, you're trying to replicate some certain hatch, some certain bugs, some certain bait fish that these fish are going for. And I guess right now, there's like a lot of bugs, but I guess cicadas are really big right now, really hatching strongly, and these fish are just tearing them up. So we're gonna use this as a freaking dry fly. So we're gonna be top water fly fishing. I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna kind of do this, but we're gonna walk that way. I just wanted to get a thumbnail, but yeah, man, I mean, we got, look at this, some Utah moss, nice and mossy. Oh, look at this, got some birds flying. This looks absolutely amazing. The sun is kind of setting behind that giant freaking canyon thingy, but uh, this actually should be pretty good for topwater fishing, hopefully. As you guys know, I mean, morning and afternoon topwater bite, usually pretty good. And I guess, I, I don't know, I guess they're eating these bugs that are floating on the top, the cicadas, and we're gonna try to mimic that and see if we can catch some fish under this giant freaking thing in Utah. Hopefully we can get my first Utah fish and Hopefully we don't embarrass ourselves yet again with the fly rod. Let's get over there, man. I think it's gonna be a little bit of a walk, but I'm, I'm dude, I'm so excited. We, we were like traveling so long today in the RV to get to this spot. We came from Colorado to here. We went through Wyoming a little bit. We're gonna be going up to Wyoming, but yeah, I don't know. Let's see if we can catch some fish, dude. How's it going? Yeah. Any fish? We just a few. Just a few? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, geez. Oh boy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Please no Utah snakes. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right, just so you guys know too, we're strapped today, baby. We got the net. I need to get a new net. A lot of you guys were telling me to, too, like to protect the fish better. And it just like, I guess my lures wouldn't get, or flies wouldn't get stuck as much in this like net, net, like the netting of it. I guess you can get a rubber one, which is better. What is this? Looks pointy. Let's get back up here though. I actually did see some other, people fishing too so we're gonna try to blend in with the fellow fly fishermen it's actually a fly fishing only stream as well if you guys are wondering too i think this is called the green river i think oh, i gotta say that man i mean look at this we got some little wildflower like little stuff growing beautiful freaking river man i mean again just a kid from delaware dude i mean i, I yeah i had trout streams that they stock in delaware but these are this is just a completely different ball game i'm out of breath any luck? Yeah? That's awesome. Wow. 
Okay, so I guess this is where they drop in. I think they have rafting tours and stuff. This is actually like textbook. There's like current and there's like stiller water next to the current. That'll just like bring a bunch of food to these fish. I bet you there's fish in there, but I bet you that gets fished pretty hard. So I kind of want to go down this direction. Again, we're an enemy, not enemy, but we're not in our, you know, our own territory, man. I'm new to this fly fishing stuff. We gotta, I don't know, like blend in and stuff. All right. What do we got here? Somebody down here, actually. Wow. This is so pretty, dude. Holy. Oh, there's a lot of people fishing. Oh boy. Um. Huh. This will just, we're just, we're just gonna go for a walk. You know what? No, we're gonna stop right here, actually. Let's give this a shot. Take the old sack off. So, what you need, actually, give me that net. What you need uh, to make a fly float, a dry fly, oh, not this. This is actually what we bought, too. This is 3X uh, Absolute Clear Tippet. That's what the dude recommended at the fly shop. I'm just seeing so many bugs and everything around. It's crazy. But this stuff right here, this is silicone mousseline made in England. Fancy stuff right here. So, um, I guess this helps the fly float. There's another look at it. So basically, you've seen a cicada before. That's kind of what it's supposed to mimic that. So he said, take this stuff. Wait, get this thing off first. So he said, take this, get some stuff like that. And this is just to help it float, I guess. I will admit, I have tried to dry fly before, or dry, dry fly fish, and it sinks. So you definitely need this gooey stuff. Basically, he said, all you gotta do, man, is just massage it into uh i forget what he called this tail feathers something and then he said make sure you put this on your line as well so i guess it helps your line flow question mark it's a little windy today by the way too it dude i don't want to be oh gosh we're all tangled mm, yeah it took me a long time to figure out how to tie the actual knot because i didn't have service and i was trying to tie the yellow line to this, whatever the freak it's called, to the tippet. We did it. All right. There's actually a lot more people over here than I thought. Hopefully they're not catching all the fish. He guaranteed me, like, oh, not guaranteed, but he almost guaranteed me, like, if I use this, I should be pretty good. All right. Still got goo on my hands. Um, you just like, how do you get it off? Get off. I feel like I need a rag or something. What's the? <laughs> Once again, not prepared. So we pretty much, why I picked this spot, we have these kind of fastish rapids, but then it kind of goes, looks like the current kind of comes back this way a little bit. So we're gonna cast it. Um, what the heck is going on here? There we go. Let's see if I remember what the heck I'm doing. Definitely don't. By the way, this is a uh, three weight, my rod. I think I want to get a five weight in the future. This is just like a Cabela's rod that we got in a fishing challenge. Which if you guys haven't seen it, I will link it uh, up or down in the description below. All right. Our fly is floating. That's pretty fast. All right, that looks kind of good. We just want it a little bit out of that fast stuff, like right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Just floating like a uh, cicada would be. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. He also told me too. We need to go down a little bit. It is a little too fast. There we go. Well, that looks good. That's money. Oh, I just saw a fish jump over there. So he also told me too, um, the cicada lures come with like a little bit longer front legs and back legs and stuff. He said to cut them and it looks more realistic. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about later a little bit. Oh, look at that. Mend that thing a little bit. He said, just let it go down naturally and see what happens. I guess it's just like a topwater bass blade or topwater anything else, it'll just pop it. I don't really know. All right. Yeah, no, yeah, we're gonna keep walking down. I honestly, I think I saw a fish jump a little, a little bit yonder in the distance, but it's moving a little fast and I don't really see all too much. <gasps> There's a freaking snake right there. I don't want to get too close. You guys see that right there? What is that? I don't even want to get close at all, actually. I was, uh, forget. yeah, no, I was with Ty, I think. Dude, that was teaching us about 
fly fishing stuff. He said that baby like, ouch, baby snakes, especially the grouse snakes that have venom, they like can't control how much venom they put into you when they bite you. So that that's not something we wanna, yeah. Onward. You know what, actually, we just moved a little bit down. This looks interesting. Someone just tried to eat me. I was a little bit out there in the more faster current e water. Come back, you won't. Dude, that that wind is I actually kind of. Oh god, that was a tree. Wind's making stuff a little bit harder here. All right there we go. I think I was like around there and I got bit. I need to get out a little further. I'm gonna drop my sack again. All these rocks, I don't know where the snakes are now. All right, fish, you're mine. God, I just got bit again. I just swirled on it. Oh my God, dude. Please, just somebody eat it. Oh my God, one was under it again. Yummy, delicious cicada. God. He ate it. He freaking ate it. Oh my God, dude. Please just eat the top water, but actually eat it. Do I have to instantly? I should have asked the guy. Like, what's the hook set with this? Is it like a frog? Like, do I let him eat it for a second? All right, let's try it out there again. All right, a few more casts here. I think a big like downfall of mine. So like I was kind of always under the impression, you know, never leave fish to find fish, especially in Delaware where there's not, like, you know, when you're trout fishing, there's not gonna be trout everywhere when they stock them. So I've been casting here, probably have had like at least 10 flashes. And I think I've had two actual like blow-ups, eats, whatever you want to call them. I mean, this area just looks so good, man. It's like, it's like textbook. Fish in the seam, there's like a deeper pool right here. And there's fish here. I just don't know, maybe somebody fished this before. Maybe they're just very spookish. But I need to do a better job at like leaving a spot where I know there's fish that aren't biting or aren't interested. Cause there could be you know a gold mine right up this freaking stream or down the stream from me that i had no clue about you know so after this i'm gonna throw one more cast that's this is one let's let that float a little bit oh man it's crazy though man there's fish here that is a good sign just gotta eat my bug oh i really didn't think the water was gonna be this freaking cold either so my freaking legs are like, yikes. Oh man, I ain't gonna lie, man. My legs are almost kind of numbish. Oh, we were standing there for a little while. Tingly, all right. I saw people walking on this. That's nice. 
My shoes untied. Oh, dude, my legs are like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Look how freaking clear that is, dude. Hmm. This looks very rapid -y that way. Ooh. All right. So this actually got my attention a little bit right here. There's like a uh, rock area right here. Look at this. This actually looks pretty good. Any snakes? Okay. I don't know if you guys can really see what I'm seeing or not. Basically, let me get this out of here. I don't know the best way to get this out. Hello? All right, there we go. So, it's like a little slower-ish moving water right here. I'm just gonna float this dude on down. There's like big rapids out there, but this side looks a little bit slower. It looks like it could hold some fish. It looks fishy. So I'll just run this down a little bit. A couple of times. Come on, nice juicy cicada for you. When do I put more goo on it? I guess if it sinks, right? Anybody home? This is crazy though, dude. Like this is one of those places like you don't even need polarized shades. Like it's just bottom. I mean, I just want one top water fly fish. Hoya! Well, this looks really good. Oh my god. I just saw a fish. I don't get it though. He jumped like near my fly. Like kind of next to it-ish. Was he going for it? Does he just have like bad aim? Oh my god. Why is he not like eating it, eating it? What is going on dude? Oh, I'm stuck in a tree. Oh, that's just the grass. Okay. This is, oh my god, I'm in the grass again. Oh, that's a flower. Hello? You would think, right, if you want to eat something, you're going to freaking eat something. You don't just get a pizza and, like, bite the freaking pizza box. Ay, ay, ay. Patience. I mean, imagine, right? Fat, juicy spaghetti. Oh gosh, I almost got the grass. Okay, patience. Patience, first state. <laughs> Hello? It's a freaking ant, dude. It's like if I was a fish, right? I just said, big, big, juicy, meaty spaghetti, giant meatballs floating down the river, man. Delicious look. Am I not gonna eat it? Oh, fly fishing. I just really wanna catch a fish on top water, dude. Especially like a freaking cicada, that's so cool. Oh my God. He ate it. Oh my God. <laughs> he yoinked it out of his mouth. Oh God. All right. Well, if you guys have any freaking top water fly fishing advice for me, please let me know in the comments below. We're gonna go back up river and we're gonna catch a freaking fish. By the way, I don't know if I said it in this video yet or not, but if you guys uh, are new to the channel or if uh, you do enjoy the videos but you're not yet ready, please make sure to go down there, smack the crap out of that subscribe button. We're gonna be doing a lot more cool stuff like this. <sighs> I'm, I'm freaking out of breath, dude. But yeah, if you're not familiar with the channel, basically we are on a giant fishing road trip. Started in Delaware, went to Florida, went a lot of places and now, we're in freaking Utah, right? What's even more wild is like, it's just 
so clear, but like these fish just blend in so well. It's not like you can just see them swimming all down there. I almost want to stay here longer. We were supposed to, like this is just like a night stop. I just want to check this area out, but I don't know, dude. All right, man, backs against the wall. I think this looks like a pretty good spot. People were just at this, but now people aren't at this. I'll tell you what, man, I'm hungry. Got one. I got fish. Oh no. Oh, he came off. There's a fish. There's a fish. Okay. 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 Please, 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 please. I don't like how he's running. Okay. Just come here. Please come here. Oh my goodness. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Please come here. Where's my net? Oh my god, my back's in the way. Yes! Freaking yes! Please tell me I'm recording. Oh my gosh. Finally. Put my backpack down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude. It has been all freaking day. Wet my hand. I just want to see that thing in his mouth. Oh, please don't get stuck in the net. Okay. I need a bigger net. I need a better net. Okay. Cold fish. Oh my gosh. Right in the top of the mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, chut, 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 chut. okay. <sighs> Flies out. Let me just get you guys a better look real quick. Oh my gosh. I am like the happiest person on earth right now. See, I'm telling you, man. Just being out here, enjoying the outdoors. It's awesome enough. Oh, that is a beautiful fish right there. I don't know if these are, I'm thinking they're stocked, right? Oh my gosh. I just cannot, oh, that is a freaking beauty. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> Perfect release. Oh, dude, as you guys can see, it's almost freaking dark out here, man. I literally was so scared, too, when I was fighting him. I don't know if you could tell. Oh, my gosh. Probably spooked everything out there. Don't really have too much daylight left. Um, I don't even know if you guys can freaking see what's going on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we did it, dude. That's my first ever dry fly fish. That's my first ever Wyoming that's where we are, right? First ever Wyoming fish. It's just so cool. I like, it's literally like fishing in a swimming pool. I saw him come up. It, it's crazy. Ooh, someone just jumped right there. They've been jumping all over the place. So I came to this little spot 
Um, basically, I guess you guys can see there's like a current. I don't even know if you can see that. But like right outside of the current, there's like a little cloudiness, like bugginess. I think Kelsey's calling me right now. What the heck? She must have felt that. She's probably like, where the heck are you, dude? We're in like the middle of Wyoming. Ah. Uh. Hello? Ooh, all right, man, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have been enjoying the videos. This one right here, I didn't really tell you guys, I thought I was gonna be in Utah for like longer than we were in Utah. So I ended up paying over $100. Campers laying down right here. I, I ended up paying over $100 for an out of state fishing license for a year because it's weird. I, the fishing license is how they work. It's, it's like you get like a one day or a couple days for like almost the price of a freaking one year. So I paid over $100 and i don't know if we're going back to utah again this year so i paid a hundred dollars to fish that place i mean it was a really cool place and uh i mean this is just a redemption story man we went out there don't really know what we're doing and uh you know we got beaten up but in the end never gave up i don't know if you guys could please make sure to go down here that thumbs up button ease my pain for that price that's pretty much going to be here for this video today as always thank you guys so much for all the support all i gotta say man so let's keep this rolling thank you guys for watching see you next video Boop. you want to know just well